Hey, what's going down, YouTube? How was your week? Hey, hope everybody had a good week. Uh, I had my mid-year uh, performance review today. So nice to get that out of the way at work. Um, so yeah, the week was fine. But just jump right into it. It's kind of funny how I always have random crap in my background of my of my uh, my videos. Here I got some some sort of Lego ship, um, a ruler, and a battery powered lantern. And Minecraft is on the Xbox One on pause. So if you hear weird animal noises, we're not outside on the farm. Um, so yeah, uh, I have a UFC fight kit jersey to show you that I've had for a couple weeks. And so we'll support that. Hey, let's support that right now. Uh, last weekend, I got some new furniture down here. So the old ripped up furniture. Then when we used to have a dog, uh, she had ripped up the back cushions. And um, so, yeah, I got some new furniture. I mean, look at more random stuff. I, I have, like, a, a basket of, like, here's a team T-ball baseball, Casey McGee ball. What's this? Carlos Villanueva. Frank Tanana, what's this? Another Frank Tanana. He actually did a he did an appearance at, at my church for our men's group. Really good speaker. Great Christian testimony. But hey, check out here's the uh, here's the fight kit jersey. Um, it's really when they say it's quality stuff, it really is quality stuff. Like the thread counts high. Um, the material that they make these. Um, that they make like the decals and everything that's printed it's like rubbery it's really really good so I'm not a fan of the chalk versions the chalk versions are mostly all white so like this will be like all white this will be all white and then like this is like a color like blue or black or yellow or red and stuff but I like the championship versions and I don't mind the other the other version but you can tell who I got. I got the interim featherweight champ, Conor McGregor. I was expecting a little bit more shine out of the gold, just from what I saw on camera. But it is a foil look. It's not flat, but it's not as shiny as I thought. I think it's a perfect balance. Um, Reebok got a lot of grief. Um, I'd be wearing this a lot if I if it fit better. They do run a little bit small, so DK has got to get on some sort of little vegetable diet. Kind of make it fit better, because I don't want it to be like tight, like I'm some beefcake or Guido or whatever from like Jersey Shore. So like, yeah, I'm a I'm a fan of Conor McGregor and his success journey. That's for sure. Oh, God, he gets no hate from me whatsoever. Anybody who's succeeding, and no matter what the plan was or how UFC made other people mad, I, it don't bother me a bit. We've had that discussion before. But I'm not hating on Reebok. Reebok admitted that they rushed the product to get to the market for the release. And they also said that they will be having more... I uh, even got my keys. Uh, uh, they'll have um, uh, more versions of the jerseys in the future. I think they're on Ar Ariel Hawani's MMA Hour last week talking about that. So I got a Monster TTM that I thought was going to be gone because... Uh, this guy kind of goes in and out of the gym sometimes. I heard him also in his interviews saying he's not really sure what he's going to do with his career, you know, how much longer he's going to stay fighting and things like that. Hold on. So, yeah, I got everything. So, I got a souvenir baggie. This baggie's pretty cool, though, because it's got, like... <laughs> I'm giving a shout-out to the baggie. But it has, like, this top. You see that, like, the top tongue? So it's easier to open. Shout out to all those fathers out there who make lunches for their kids. That always sucks. I'm not looking forward to that in the next couple weeks when my kids go back to school. But Matt Wyman is back at Rose City Fitness in or in Oregon. I sent to him when he was regularly signing. And uh, I had bought some cards off CUMC to complete my collection. He's one of my personal favorites because of his Christian testimony. I've already gotten one of these from him in the mail. I wasn't, I don't remember sending the request for these promos, but he sent them anyways. So I got one for trade. This one's for trade. And it's actually a, one of the best Matt Wyman signatures I've seen. It's really, really clean. And then check out the one that he, he kind of, that I'm not going to trade. At least not now. Look at this. Sexy sideburns, because he's making fun of his chops. So, 
so yeah, and then on the back of my letter, uh, I wrote in pencil, and then he uh, he wrote that. So if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw that. So yeah, some of you probably see me on Facebook too. That's only for collecting purposes. There's nothing uh, nothing personal on there. It's all it's all just hobby stuff. Actually, I got to post some stuff on there for sale. The whole reason why I joined. So here's him versus Cole Miller on a moment of truth. I did ask him in my letter to sign them with his old nickname, Handsome. He said he'd do that on a few. This one is actually just Handsome Matt. He didn't even put the Wyman underneath here. But here's around one, Top's first um, ever card issues. Uh, round two, this one's for trade. This one's not for trade. 2012 knockout. I have an extra one of these for trade somewhere. I think this one's an upgrade from my collection. Not for trade. So I got like five out of the seven that were new additions. And thankfully this is the the best one I wanted signed. So yeah, super happy. Got this finest moments. Matt Wyman turns the tables on Sass. Remember that fight Paul Sass was supposed to be like this master triangle artist. And Wyman ended up beating him. No problem. So big shout out to Matt Wyman for returning. That was 120 days. Big shout out for him for returning to training. Hopefully there's a fight announcement soon. Let's shing this live. Let's see, I have no idea who this is. I have no idea even where this is from. Check out the postmark. So yeah, I have no idea. But there's multiple cards in here. All right, look at this. This is cool. This was another one that was out for a really long time. I sent these when he was signing, and uh, probably about four months ago. So really cool to get these back. So it should have been postmarked from San Jose. Daniel Cormier hooking it up on his old fan mail. I think I might have all these done now. This is a new one. And I think this is a new one too. So two of the four are new. Two out of the four will be for trade. Trades are going pretty good. I just got I just got hit up by somebody on um, what was it? This was sent to AKA headquarters in um, San Jose. Um, somebody on Sports Card Forum just hit me up to want a trade for my um, Robbie Lawler. So here's a speaking of trade. Here's a trade I did uh, with somebody. Hmm. I forget, on Twitter or something. I wanted one of my Guida cards. So I got a note. Won't read the note. But, uh, yeah, I think it, his name was Kev. And then uh, he hooked me up with a certified autograph for my one of my clay Guidas. So let's see what we got. We got this tri-folded envelope I got to pop through. Check this out. Mine. Remember this dude? He'd rip up the turnbuckles and he had that doll named Mine. And uh, he had the hots for Miss Elizabeth. Like all the rest of us old people that used to watch wrestling in the 80s. And maybe early 90s. And for you guys who watched WCW, I never did. So, um, George Animal Steel. He used to use um, like green chiclets to get his green tongue. That's a nice random fact for you guys. So yeah, figured what the heck. No big deal, I'll take that. Thanks for the trade, Kev. And uh, for everybody out there, you guys have a great weekend. See you in church.